I'm making a, a killer mile progress on the CBR 400RR. I just got the carbs done. Finally got them. We're feeling good. So all the bench tests good and super excited to slap them on the bike. But I thought um, I'd do a tool uh, review on a brand new tool that I got. This Motion Pro version 3 uh, cable luber. You may have seen uh, some of my old videos. I, I use it a lot. Anytime I'm dealing with a carburetor or a clutch replacement or anything where there's cables, um, I lubricate them. And it's extremely overlooked. And I thought, eh, there's a ton of videos on this. And then I just thought, God dang. Why did I not buy this years ago? This version 3, and they didn't give this to me. Uh, I've tried connect with Motion Pro. I can't get them to, to pay attention to how to wrench. But uh, there's no way they can't not see the videos we do. Because the regardless thing is, I paid for the tool full price. I'll have Amazon link below. It's worth every penny of it. It is so far superior to the $10 ones and I'm like are you kidding me the amount of lubricant I've wasted and just the mess and hassle of it so I've got one more cable to do here I've got the uh, uh, the fuel mixture choke cable to do so I thought let's just record it let you see how it works if you uh, own a motorcycle or maintain more sales this is one of going to be one of your best little maintenance tools and I can't believe how ingenious this is and how they have it figured out so let me flip the camera around take a few minutes do it and you're gonna love it. Probably gonna buy one. Hey, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but uh, don't do what I did. And what I did is. Hey, I put the blooper uh, video link below in the description for uh, channel members. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show how to use the tool, but there is something no one's talking about that I can't believe I overlooked, and uh, it has another really cool feature. So if you uh, aren't a channel member, join, and if you are, hit your free video in the description below. Otherwise, let's get to uh, how to use this tool like everybody else is using it. I'm gonna try to get it all shot in, uh, in one uh, scene here or whatnot, but we wanna see it drip out of here. But let me show you how you go ahead and set that up. So you just slide this piece on first. Then uh, you could wear gloves if you want. And then you just wrap this around itself. And like I said, it's so cool how that doubles up. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this, leaving just a little gap for the fluid to get around there. And then you just simply... Like I said, in two seconds, I'm going to thread this on so that gasket compresses. And I'm hoping that since this doesn't have that metal housing like the throttle cables did, that it's like no leaks. Ooh, it's getting tight. Oh, it's getting tight. All right, it feels good on there. Let me have a rag just in case. Okay. Cover up my uh, port there. And then, man, I'll tell you, it's even hard to get the nozzle in here. Like, this is a freaking tight, tight fit. Okay. All right. Well, first off, let's see if this cable leaks. Whoa. No, look at it. Push my plunger up. Oh, look, it's already off the top. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I literally just, the uh, oh, this is so cool. Man, I love cool tools. Man, I gotta tell you, uh, let me do a summary. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, gone are the days of this little squeezer that just leaks all over the place. But I used to love this because it was a great way to lubricate cables, especially if you weren't taking them out of housing and you wanted to just push that up through there. It's just a great tool. And this is one, even a little lubricator, it came with a Barnett clutch ca or cables. I used to love this. And you could uh, fill this up and this tiny little needle and squeeze it down into the tube. But then you had to have uh, the cable, you know, usually it was hard to do on the vehicle and you had to sit and hold it up. And it's just either, either one of these were pretty significantly messy. I just lubricated those three cables with this new Motion Pro V3 I know you didn't see on video the first two, but I literally did all three cables in like, I don't think it'd be an exaggeration to say like two minutes. Uh, crazy fast. And once again, you saw in this last one live, I was actually shocked at how fast it filled that cable. That cable is, I mean, it's like 24 inches long 
and fill that whole thing and just shot up there because there's such a good seal in this and what it did. So way cool. Best 20 bucks ever. Links are below. Uh, not a sponsored video, just a product that uh, I can get rid of all of these. This is absolutely going to be my go-to. And uh, I can't believe how much it just sped up maintenance. And if you're a do-it-yourself, you're going to save yourself a bunch of money. If you're a shop, you're going to make a ton of money. So anyway, have you ever, if you haven't done so yet, my friends, make sure and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you wouldn't mind joining the channel as a way to support us, that'd be awesome too. Thanks for all the new members this uh, week. And uh, I'm going to get back at it because we are about ready to get the CBR400RR running. So super excited. All right, my friends, make sure you stay tuned. And as always, keep wrenching. Mm -hmm.